This is Baggy's View. Coming up, analysis of the win against Blackpool and more on the Shiner outburst. Hello and welcome to Baggy's View. I'm Paul Bradley. Well, West Brom finally got that much-needed win against Blackpool and I'm joined in our Fort Dunlop studio today to talk about that result. Hi, Chris. Hi. Well, what was your verdict on the game? Like I've already said, it was a much-needed win. Yeah, it was. And, um, I mean, it was a very a very entertaining game, I have to say. Um, it could have easily gone wrong for Albion um, at some stage because they were, you know, it was very end-to-end, especially towards the end of the game. It got very stretched. Um, I think both sets of defences really didn't come out on top, shall we say. It was very much a game for strikers, but it was much needed, just the actual gesture of picking up three points somewhere along the way. They've not had much luck lately, and and I think the most important thing was Peter Odden Wingy scoring, because he's been off form lately, he's been injured, and he finally looked back to his best on Saturday. And do you think the Shana outburst, do you think that spurred Baggies on to put in a bit of a, a, bit of a shift? Um... I, I don't think it was down to the outburst. Now, I mean, it, it's quite interesting because uh, Paul sort of volunteered that, if you like. You know, it wasn't a, a case of journalists sat there in front of him, grilling him and, and trying to extract it. He came in uh, prepared to say what he did, and he did say it. And the reaction of players afterwards, I think, was interesting. I mean, I, I've spoken to at least two or three ex-pros who were very wary of what he'd said and, and said that had they been in the dressing room, they wouldn't have been too pleased with it. Um, Chris Brunt did come out and comment on it. Uh, he was disappointed. I don't think it was the comments as such that were disappointing. I think it's the fact that he he was basically revealing that, you know, he, he was implying that there is laziness in the dressing room. He hadn't told his teammates he was going to say it. He hadn't told the manager he was going to say it. And I think it's that in itself which has caused a little bit of upset but you know listen these things go on in dressing rooms people do fall out uh, I don't think there'll be a problem personally uh, I think it'll get brushed under the carpet and, and they'll move on from this well the good thing is they've obviously got those three points from the game after that afterwards we spoke to Chris Brunt and here was his take on things um, yeah obviously we, we saw this the comments you know it's uh, a little bit disappointing that that they were putting the press and not the players, but you know everybody's entitled to their own opinion, and if that's his opinion, that's fine. You know maybe maybe he thought it would get a reaction, and you know if he feels happy with that, that's that's fine. That's his his uh, his judgment. You know, but you know as you say, we're a little bit disappointed, but you know things are uh, it's past now, and we draw a line under it, and move on. I think those are the thoughts of Chris Brunt, who took over the captaincy in this game. Now, Chris, that was because uh, Carson was dropped. Is Boris Myhill going to keep his place? Do you think after that performance? Well, it's his to lose. Um, you know, he, he did concede two, but neither goal really were down to him. Um, as I said, it wasn't a, a particularly famous day for defenders on Saturday. Um, but, you know, he, he did all that was asked of him, really. He sort of looked assured. And I think Scott needed to be taken out uh, of the firing line for a few few games, for however long, really, because he's he's been off form, he's not been his best. And, you know, Boas deserved to go. And just briefly, you think these three points could start to get things moving again for West Brom now? Well, hopefully. Um, they needed a big boost. They needed something to just galvanise them, give them a little bit of confidence because they've not had that. You know, there's been a there's been a bit of hard luck story about Albion in recent weeks. Not always justified, I have to say. But you know, they needed something to to just snatch up really and and give them a little bit of a lift. And they've got two very key games coming up against Blackburn and then Wigan, which you know they'll they'll be wanting to take as many points at at least four points from those two games, I would imagine. So yeah, it's a crucial win. Okay, Chris. Well, thanks for that today, and thank you for watching. We'll be back again with more Baggers View later in the week. <laughs>